Hello guys, in case you are in Denmark and you just bought, for example, a bottle of uh, beer or even smoothie or bottle of juice and on your check you see something like pant and you can be charged, for example, like one krona, two krona or even three krona additionally and you just don't understand what this means in Denmark, I will try to explain it to you. So here is basically my check here. And I can see that all products are just fine. But then after I bought beer, like bottle, like can of beer, I see pant and it's one krona. Again, another Carlsberg beer, pant, one krona. Then just like some creme crochet, nothing. And then pant again, one krona. And it's added to the full amount. So what exactly is pant? As I understand, it's kind of like a deposit system. Uh, which you are charged until you return your cans back and then you can back get this money back and here is a more detailed explanation from the local dk so it's like pant basically it's Dan danish recycling system and from 2019 uh, july it will be extended not only to beers but also to juicy and smooth uh, smoothie bottles uh, yeah, so what is Pant exactly? As you can see here, the packaging will be returnable to stores one, uh, once empty as part of the recycling system known as Denmark as Pant. So it's not only like deposit, but more like a kind of deposit system designed to boost recycling. Uh, the Pant system is based on a small surcharge being paid on every bottle at the point of purchase. The surcharge or deposit is paid back to consumers when bottles are returned to specialized machines, which are located at most supermarket. Uh, so yeah, it will be extended and more than 400 different types of juice, smoothie and cordial bottles. Uh, so does it apply only to like aluminium or plastic bottles? So yes, e over than 50 million glass aluminium plastic bottles and cans also will now find their way to pant machines. Um, it was approved by the parliament in Denmark and yeah, it was a great political interest in putting this packaging into the pant system. Uh, not all the new types of containers will be recyclable immediately. A phasing in period will see older packaging without the pant marking remain on shelves for the time being. Uh, yeah, but all this juice and cordial bottles will be pantable by November 1st. So there you have it, a bit more explanation about like pan system. So basically if you buy a, a beer can, you are charged additional one krona or the, it can be one and a half krona. It's kind of like a deposit. And you're like, now it's in your interest to return this uh, can back uh, for, yeah. And here are also deposit, common deposit amounts in Denmark. There are, it's called ABC deposit pant system, pant A, pant B and pant C. Mm. And usually you can uh, see that uh, this marking at the packaging. So these fonts are uh, here pant a it's one danish krona it's a glass bottles and aluminium cans less than one liter so majority of beers will just go into this category pant b 1.5 danish krona plastic bottles less than one liter pant c 3 danish krona all bottles and cans of 1 to 20 liters uh, uh, bottles without deposit mark are refillable packaging that can be cleaned or refilled. For example, the green beer bottle. Uh, the deposit you pay is as follows. So glass bottles under 0 0.5 liters, one krona, glass bottles over 0 0.5 liters, three krona, plastic bottles under one liter, uh, 1.5, and plastic bottles over one liter, three krona. So there, here's how this return machine looks like. It's just, yeah, it's just like at an Infecta store. Mm -hmm. 
So now I have these two checks right here, five kron and one kron, so six krona. So there you have it, six krona. Here's what you can get for different bottles. So how to identify pant on, like for example, beer cans. So here you see the price, 595, but then you see excluding pant. So probably, oh, like, uh, the pant will be added here. And you can see it on almost all other like bottles, excluding pant, excluding pant, excluding pant. So yeah, if you see that, it means this bottle can be like returned back 